Welcome back to another video. Today we're writing a C++ program that takes two numbers as input and we're going to print the first number and then we're going to keep adding 5 to it until that number is greater than or equal to the second number. But if the first number is bigger than the second number, we're going to display a warning to the user. And then we're going to stop adding 5 when the first number is greater than or equal to the second number. Here's an example. If the user enters 5 and then 20, we're going to keep adding 5 to the first number. So we're going to go 5, 10, 15, 20 until it's greater than or equal to the second number. But if the user enters 25 and then 20, then we'll have to give them an error because the first number is bigger. So let's actually code it out real quick. So we have some integer variables. We can say int first and second, the first number and the second number. And then we need a way to get user input into them. We could do cn first and then second. Okay, so now we have user input inside those numbers. We can use an if statement to check that the first number is not bigger than the second number. So we could say if first greater than second, we have to display like a error message. We could say C out and then we could put first number can be bigger than second number. Okay. And then we can end it with the new line. So that's the first case. But if it's not that, we could say while, we can use a while loop because you want to keep going until the first is um, greater or equal to second. So we want to keep going until first is less than or equal to second. As soon as first is greater or equal to second, we're going to stop the loop. So while first less than or equal to second, as soon as first is greater than or equal to second, we're going to stop the loop. While that, while, so while that keeps going, we could say C out the first number, and then we'll put a space so all the numbers aren't next to each other. And then we'll put a semicolon. And then we'll add, fir we'll add 5 to the first number. We could say first plus equal 5. Or to keep it simple, you could just do first equals first plus 5. And then that's pretty much it. And if we run the program, and then we pass in these two numbers like they did in the example. We can do 5 and 20. So it's going to keep adding 5 to the first number until it's greater or equal to the second number. Let's do one where the first number is bigger. Let's do 23 and 4. First number can't be bigger than second number, which is what we want. Let's run it again. Let's do a really big number. Let's do 5 and then 100,000. So it's going to keep adding 5 until 100,000 until we get to 100,000. So that's pretty quick. Um, yeah. So if this helped in any way, please leave a like and subscribe.